this guy, a long, long, long time supporter of the, uh, you know, me and Derek and everybody on the channel. Uh, they're on the move, these guys, and they're driving, and, uh, here's the prairies. Oh, I miss you, Lon, look at that. Yeah. I see Diag one. Look. I'm not fucking kidding you. I see it, too. I see it, too. They see a Diagalon flag. Look at them all. They, look at all the cars, man. Let's just scroll up here. Here we go. Who is it? Who is it? Who could it be? And they've encountered many more since then. They're sending all these videos, like there's, the flags are everywhere. <laughs> Diagonal! <laughs> Come on over. And uh, just like this, meeting in the wild, look at this. Look who it is. Diagonal! <laughs> It's fucking Craig! <laughs> I'm the ferryman still. Yeah. It's a fucking wheelchair bear, Craig Blackbear, man. You guys remember him? He shoot, shot the deer and cleaned it all himself and drug it home. He's in a wheelchair, he does all this stuff. The guy's an animal. And here he is. What are the odds of this? Strider's got a lot to say. Oh my god, there's more! There's another guy with a Diagonal shirt on. Like, what is going on here? <laughs> Ain't it great? You love to see it. There's an Vaccinations for truckers is fueling a protest movement that's growing by the day. A convoy is heading to Parliament Hill. The convoy has caught the attention of this group of self-described Canadian bigots. We're uh, thinking about going to Ottawa. Thinking? <laughs> One calling for an attack on Parliament Hill like last year's assault on the U.S. Capitol. I would like to see our own January 6th event. See some of those truckers plow right through that 16-foot wall. None of us, of course. I just like to see it. Extremist hate. Right-wing extremists. Far-right extremism. Frankly, I think that's insulting. It's clear that they let us off the hook for a very good reason. Because we paid them $600 million. In the short, out-of-context clip posted, I was depicted to be a violent bigot calling for an insurrection when that could be nothing further from the truth. There's a little bit more to my apology there. I'd like you guys to hear the entire thing. And those rights and freedoms are at stake. So you guys are honestly true heroes. The convoy has caught the attention of this group of self-described Canadian bigots. We're uh, thinking about going to Ottawa. Thinking. Ha! One calling for an attack on Parliament Hill like last year's assault on the U.S. Capitol. I would like to see our own January 6th event. See some of those truckers plow right through that 16-foot wall. None of us, of course. I just like to see it. Vaccine man. Hello, my name is Derek Rance. I was featured recently on a CTV newsreel about the truck convoy headed to Ottawa. In the short, out-of-context clip posted, I was depicted to be a violent bigot calling for an insurrection when that could be nothing further from the truth. I would like to clarify this and clear my name. When I was hypothetically stating that I would like to see a truck plow through that wall, my intent was deliberately misconstrued. In the name of inclusivity, I want to see that truck being driven by a BIPOC disabled trans female who is triple vax and possibly of Muslim descent. Thank you. I think it went well, right? If you see a trucker, Canada, do not trust them. They are racist, they are white supremacists, and they are trying to starve you this winter. Any supply chain shortages have nothing to do with me. Yes, I may be the prime minister of this federal government that leads this country, but you really think I have anything to do with it, Canada? I mean, have you heard about all of these unvaccinated people running around? That sounds pretty scary to me. Have you seen the cases? Yes, exactly. I don't care if a trucker is alone for hours on the road and it is the most isolating job there is. They're racist for not getting the vaccine. And that is science. Thank you.
fucking back in business.